We begin in the ABC 7 Alert Center with breaking news. A U.S. District Judge in Texas has ordered the transfer of Mexican drug lord Ismael El Mayo Zambada to the Eastern District of New York. Remember, he was actually arrested right here in the El Paso area along with the son of Chapo Guzman, Joaquin. This transfer away from El Paso means that Zambada will continue his federal case in Brooklyn. ABC 7 Juarez correspondent Ediberto Perez has been following the story and joins us live from downtown El Paso with more. And Ediberto, when exactly was the order finalized? Good afternoon, Paul. What I can tell you is that U.S. District Judge here in Texas, Kathleen Cardone, signed this order a little after 2 p.m. this afternoon. And just a couple of minutes ago, El Mayo defendants Frank Perez and Ray Velarde filed a response to the government's notice of transfer, saying, Paul, that they, don't, they do not oppose to this transfer to New York, and Zambada does not oppose to remain in the custody of the Eastern District of New York either. The court order claims that Zambada and his defense team have agreed to move his case to New York through the completion of proceedings. The, the motion from the U.S. Attorney's Office also claims that Eastern District of New York prosecutors have already started the process of moving Zambada to Brooklyn. Back in August, Zambada's attorney, Frank Perez, filed a motion fighting to have his client, or El Mayo, to remain here in El Paso. And Paul, also, just a couple of minutes ago, U.S. District Judge here in Texas, Kathleen Cardone, just canceled El Mayo's status conference scheduled to be uh, to happen next Monday, September the 9th here in El Paso. And Zambada's attorneys, both Perez and Velarde, also requested in their response to postpone this status conference pending El Mayo's transfer to Brooklyn, New York. I'm reporting live from downtown El Paso, Heriberto Perez, ABC 7.